Welcome to the Intangibles Podcast, presented by PZM, the home for basketball content. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome to the Intangibles Podcast. Um, recently, we released uh, an episode with Aaron Black. And uh, actually, nakakatawa siya at the time that we were filming dahil that was the day after he went against our next guest today. And si, uh-huh. as you can see, si Kuya Wami Chongson is here with us today. Welcome, Kuya. Thank you for joining. Hello. Um, hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, it's an honor. Um, you, you, I'm, you know, you can always invite me anytime because I actually enjoy doing these kinds of stuff. Kuya, so, ano, feeling ko naman, Kuya, baka may next time pa tayo, may mga isa mo pa tayo, yeah. di ba, para ma-enjoy natin. Fight mo lang ako anytime. <laughs> Sige, Kuya. Um, well, speaking of, kamusta muna, Kuya? Um, well, I, di ko alam kung recent pa siya, no, pero you just signed your extension. Yeah, yes, yes. So, congrats on that, Kuya. Uh, how, how has it been so far, especially at the start of the season? How has life been so far? How has PBA life been so far? Ano lang, kamusta lang, Kuya? Uh, in terms of my contract extension, uh, I've always said this naman uh, during the past interview na yung priority ko was always to stay with Terra Firma because mm-hmm. I I enjoy, I enjoy being there. As in, mm-hmm. kahit ano pa sabihin ng mga tao, it doesn't matter to me eh. Kasi mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it, it's my decision where I'm happy, mm-hmm. uh, where my family supports me. So... So it was a no-brainer for me to sign that exten- extension with Terra Firma. Mm. Tapos with my basketball life it's it's always been the same. Um a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment and passion. Um I'm enjoying it. I get I get to do um I get to live my dream. Diba? It's always mm. been my dream to play professionally, to play in the PBA and I'm living it and and I don't want to take anything for granted. And uh, well Again, congrats on that. And nakita rin natin yung progression ng Terra Firma throughout the years. And alam natin kung paano na... Well, kita from the outside kung paano nag-develop talaga yung performance ng team nyo. And uh, what can you say is the the biggest difference recently for your team? Kasi tal- halata eh. Halata pag pinanood mo na nag-iiba talaga yung performance so far. Um, of course, it could be better. Siyempre, yung goal namin is to make the playoffs eh. Mm-hmm. Uh- in order for us to make the playoffs, we have to win six games. And recently, we won our first game for the conference. So, you know, we're only as good as our, our last game. Um, kahit, kahit, I mean, manalo nga kami, pero for the, for the next remaining games, talo kami. So, it doesn't matter. Rin. So, we, 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 could, we enjoyed, we already enjoyed our win, but we have to still remain focused uh, in our goal, which is to make the playoffs. And in terms of our development, um, you could see na... Magand, maganda yung rotation ng ball ngayon. Uh, um, kasi uh, cre- we give credit of course to Coach Monkey, our, uh, our offensive coach. Siya, siya, yung nag, siya yung naglagay ng offense namin this this conference. And kitang-kita naman, there are a lot of ball movement, a lot of staggered screens, a lot of ball screens. It, it, di na siya nagsistick sa isang person unlike uh, in our previous conferences. Eh, kuya yung ano... Mukha naman nag-workout yung offense uh, strategy nyo. Pero yun nung nag-30 points ka, ano yeah, yung talagang, yeah. talagang ano yun, assigned din sa'yo? Talagang dumating lang sa'yo yung laro at that time? Um, ano kasi, actually, ano, I give credit sa teammates ko kasi talagang hinanap nila ako eh. Kasi I was making my shots. Si Kuya Alex really was exclusively looking for me during that game. Even, even our import kasi... Alam ko, our import already had 20 plus points in the first half. So, yung adjustment ni Coach Norman coming into the second half, every time he had the ball, dina double team na siya right away. Hmm. So, yung, syempre, yung instinct niya was to uh, pass it to the open man. Tapos yung open man, na reverse sa akin. So, ako yung nalilibre. So, I mean, really, yung credit talaga na sa teammates ko. Kasi I wouldn't have scored 30 points kung di naman sila mag-extra pass. Eh, diba? So, it, it's it was only possible because of them. Well, babalikan natin sila mamaya yung about the PBA conversation na yan. Pero yeah. well, aside from basketball, 
i-relate ko sana sa next question ko eh. Pero gusto ko muna malaman, aside from basketball, ano yung parang other hobbies na ginagawa mo? Um, lately, kasi it started during the pandemic, uh, nagkahilig ako mag-motorcycle. Hmm. Uh, so... Um lately I've I've been riding I've been riding a lot hanging out with my friends I I met I I became close I became became close to a lot of people because of riding the motorcycle eh. um same hobby kami it gives me um uh, parang stress reliever ko kasi always can't be about basketball kasi nakaka um, diba? na, me- mentally nakakapagod mm. physically nakakapagod din so during my downtime during my free time when i can nagmo-motor sa nagmo-motorcycle talaga ako uh with my with my grade school friends high school friends college friends so mm-hmm. i really try to make make the most out of it kasi it gives me it gives me freedom and nawawala yung pressure and stress ko uh sa basketball uh kuy marami ka nang napuntahan malamang no sa sa mga trips yeah yung... Um, yung farthest na napuntahan ko was during the off season. Eh, during the off season, we were, we came from La Union with my mm. grade students. So nagmotor kami to La Union. Pero the places that uh were usually in is in Tagaytay, Batangas, Tuvali, or BGC. Mostly, mostly dun lang naman pinupuntahan namin yung mga familiar places lang. Actually, ko yes, speaking of, kasi we ask sa may, may segment kami sa podcast namin na parang before everything starts top 5 anything kumbaga top 5 rapper top 5 color yeah. right ganun man right so sa iyo kaya since you mentioned it uh ano yung top 5 na lugar na napuntahan mo with your friends doing your your hobby like that okay um i would first i would say tagaytay kasi mm-hmm. yun yung go to place namin most of the time kasi it's not it's not too far it's not it's not too close so tama lang yung saddle time namin going to Tagaytay um definitely Batangas kasi that doon nakatira yung lola ko mm-hmm. or so i get to visit her her place it mm-hmm. ibang Batangas tas masarap yung lugar doon <laughs> yeah third would be siguro Pampanga okay kasi um i have i have a friend there also who rides the motorcycle so i get to visit him because he takes good photos which i can post also sa feed ko mm-hmm. so you know i think i get i get to have that opportunity fourth i would say subic yeah it's pretty far pero yeah, it's pretty far pretty far pero masarap yung ride eh, kasi um dun dun mo nakikita yung potential ng bike dun mo mm-hmm. na feel yung full potential ng bike in terms of It's handling, it's speed, and all that. And lastly, siguro yung lao yun, kasi it's memorable. Mm-hmm. Shit, for this na napuntahan namin, yung mm-hmm. bonding experience ko with my with my friends. So it's it's a it's it's a memorable uh place. Sa sa ano ako yung marami pa kayo mapuntahan. And of course, yes. ingat ingat, kasi bago yung contract, di po eding uh, di po eding ma ma injure injure jan. Pero um yung nga moving on na tayo. We talked about PBA a while ago, pero let's start off muna with your upbringing with basketball. Siguro, what made you decide to pursue basketball in general? Um, basketball's been my first love for for the longest time. As in, I can't recall the first time I actually held the ball. As in, bata pa lang ako basketball na talaga yung hilig doon. But there was a time um in my life. Siguro, I was I was in grade three. Na nag-stop ako mag-basketball kasi I played football which I wasn't oh. good at, which I wasn't <laughs> So tinigil ko na 'yon. Kasi oh, okay. hindi talaga ako magaling. Mm-hmm. And, and 'yun, ever since uh, basketball stuck na with me. Uh it, it it's it's my first love, it's my passion. It it brings me peace, it gives me happiness. So Um and it brought me to different places already and I met a lot of people because of basketball so I'm very mm-hmm. thankful for that. and um I'm for forever indebted to basketball. What when was your no first basketball varsity like yung kalakauna nag varsity sa basketball? Um I was in CSA uh, grade 4 mm-hmm. actually. Grade four. Yeah, I was in grade 4. 
in CSA Makati. As in, ano lang, random lang siya. As in, siguro serendipity. Because I was, at the time, nagsuschool bus ako. Mm-hmm. And during the time, I, I'm not sure bakit kami, na, may hinihintay ata kaming high school busmate at the time. So, nag, nag-basketball muna ako. Naka, full uniform ako, leather shoes, nakipag-wana yeah, na. The usual, yung mga recess yeah, lunch. So, so, pag-wana naman lang ako, laro-laro. Like, diba, mm-hmm. during the time, basketball was just a game. Eh. Mm-hmm. Y- y- talaga inisip maging professional or anything. Pero, sa other court, at that time, yung friend ko, sinabihan ako, Wami, may, may tryouts dun sa isang isang court, baka gusto mo mag-try. At that time, di ko alam ano yung varsity kasi wala talaga akong idea. Mm-hmm. Basketball was just a game. Like, enjoy lang. Play with my cousins, play with my brother. So, during, so when they when they invited me to the tryout, pumunta ako, naka-leather mm-hmm. shoes. Maki 5 on 5. So, okay. so, right after the tryout, sabi ko, what's next? Paano ko malalaman kung pasok ako? Mm-hmm. Sabi na ko, kung may asterisk yung name mo dun sa listahan ng coach. So, lumapit ako sa coach. Um, tinanong ko, if pasok ba ako, coach? Pasok ba ako, sir? Wala siyang sinabi. So, okay. I just, muwi ako, not, not thinking of anything. Kasi, wala ko na-expect. Kasi, like, uh, I was naive to varsity pa. I was naive to being a varsity via at that time eh. Hmm. And yun. And then yun, the following days na sinabihan ako na yun, part ako ng varsity and I was the youngest at the time. Oh. Sobrang fortunate lang. As in, walang plans ah. Kasi wala, yeah. wala akong idea about varsity eh. From, from then on, as in, puro straight varsity na yun until college? Uh, from then on, straight varsity na ako from grade 4 to grade 7. And then grade 6, rinirecruit na ako ng Lasal Greenals and Ateneo. And you chose the right school naman, Guya. Of course, I chose the right school. You chose the right school. <laughs> Ayan, well, you spoke about that. How about yung mga ano naman, Guya? So, mga experiences mo naman sa, sa Ateneo. Of course, ang daming championship nun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kamusta yung journey, yung buong journey na yun? So, For yung... You? Uh, Let's start with my high school, siguro my high school career first. High mm-hmm. school, I was recruited by Coach Ron Camera to play for the Passerel. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, di kami nag-champion. We lost to Lasalle Greenhouse at the time. Mm-hmm. That was during my first year. And then in my second year, nag-tryouts ako sa UAP Juniors with Coach Jamaik. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, sobrang rare lang talaga siya kumuha ng second year uh, high school player. Usually, one or two players lang. Okay. Tapos, mga ano pa mga mas 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 mga seniors pa talaga yung kinukuha niya. Yung mga teammates ko nasa third year, fourth year high school. Okay. So, during my second year, during my first year sa UAP Juniors, I wasn't really playing that much. Like, I was behind Mike Gamboa, JV Domrique, Alec Rivera, Carlo Balmaceda. So, yung playing time ko was very limited. Pero pero coach Jamaik really saw my my potential already. So, you know, he would put me in a few minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, during the summer league after my second year, dun, dun talaga yung naging confident na ako with my game. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew who I was and what my game was. Like, scorer talaga ako. I, I would play the two-guard position. And Coach Jamaik was giving me the freedom to just play my game. And then, and so third year to fourth year, I was part of the medical fives, the UAP juniors. Uh, I won. Uh, during my last year, my fourth year against FEU, talo kami third year sa Zobel with sina, yeah, sina Joshua Webb, Jerick Fortuna, Guerra, Masio Kubo, Guido Pasho, Elorde, talo talo kami na sweep kami two zero. Tapos sa final year ko kami nakabawi. Well, kuya, speaking of those years na, ano yung pinaka siguro valuable lesson na you learned from playing in Ateneo? Um, it's to enjoy enjoy each game. Mm. Eh, syempre, us players may ano eh, we we have may pressure eh, when you when you go into games kasi obviously you work hard you practice hard. Siyempre, in-game, gusto mo makita yung results eh. And 
and it's not every game naman that you get to play well your shots don't go in may may alam mo may 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 halong malas rin eh so mm-hmm. what i what i've learned kasi i would always pressure myself eh kasi may standards ako sa game ko mm-hmm. uh, i i really put a lot of pressure in myself to to always play well kasi you know you're only you're only as good as your last game so what i learned is to to in, enjoy each and every every opportunity kasi you never know diba knock on wood malay mo may 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 injure ka na you know you wanna enjoy every game and be thankful that that you get to play the game you love reminds me lang kuya na well yung unang interview namin was with uh Zag si Kuya Tonino yeah 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 and then the next one was with AB kay Aaron Black and then yeah. both of them mentioned something about uh coach Sandy So ako din na curious ako baka may may stories ka baka tungkol kay Coach Sandy na you know yeah. helping you or whatever. And the mentioned ba nila si Coach Sandy is a professor in high school. You she I'm not sure if she's still a professor in high school. He, I see. Yeah. He, yeah, he used to be. Alam aware ko uh, pero hindi na namin mention. Hindi na namin mention. Para uh, okay. he, he used to be a uh I think history history at us history at us si Coach Sandy. Mm-hmm. So the way the way he teaches the game the way he teaches you how to play basketball or, or to learn basketball is how uh, professors teach teach us in school very detailed mm-hmm. diba? like even the smallest detail sinasabi niya sa a lot a lot of um a lot of um paano ba paano ba, paano ba explain like a lot of tutorial through verb through verbal ganun good mm-hmm. words kasi ano siya, he's very matalino si Coach Sandy, he knows he knows what he's doing, he knows what mm-hmm. he said. 'Di ba siya yung longest parang coach ata? Longest running coach ata it's in Ateneo, at- right? Yeah, Ateneo. Uh, pro- probably so. Like I wouldn't be surprised if if he is. Mm-hmm. Cuz well, nag napatanong lang ako kasi sabi sa sabi sa amin ni Aero na parang ano daw eh, parang ma- madaldal daw talaga si Coach yeah. Sandy. So <laughs> Very ano siya, verbal. Verbal siya ma... May, may lig siya uh, magsalita. Kasi nga, professor. Diba? Ganun. Uh-huh. Naman mga professors, ganun eh. Mm-hmm. Pero yung next question mo naman sa'yo, Oya. Well, if in- i-include mo na sa pros or hindi man, gusto ko lang sana malaman yung mga favorite teammates mo. Yung natin na yun. And siguro kung uh-huh. gusto mo bawian si Kuya Tonino kasi sinabi niya hindi ka na mamasa, sabi niyo, sig- okay lang. <laughs> Favorite team uh, sa, sa, sa high school, siguro si JV Domrique, Kevin Gamboa, um, Ivan Enriquez, si Ice Reyes. Yan yung mga favorite teammates ko nung, nung high school kasi batchmates ko sila. I grew up with them. Very close kami on the court, off the court. Maganda yung chemistry namin. And up until now, na, every time we see each other, parang... Kasi syempre, we have our own lives na eh. Hindi na kami masyado nakakapag-usap, but... Every time we get the chance to para para kaming nag-uusap pa rin every day. Mm-hmm. Yung very excited pa rin kami sa it, uh, isa't isa. Mm-hmm. So do, those four, four I think four four, four names ba mentioned ko. I think those those four guys are my favorite my my favorite teammates in high school. Sa college naman which I I'm still very close to sina Nico Salva, Tonino, si Tonino, si Zags, Bacon, Frank Golia, Justin Shua. Well, so Kiefer, Sivon, close pa ako kay Anton. Ang dami eh, kasi I'm very close to them eh. Kasi syempre iba, iba't ibang batches kami. So, you know, those older players don't really get to hang out with the younger players. But kasi ako yung nasa gitna eh. Get, I get to spend a lot, I spent a lot of time with the older guys and the younger guys. Um, well, Kuya, is there any like specific memory na parang tumatak sa'yo with your teammates? I mean, kung siyempre, kung hindi na dapat pinag-uusapan yan, okay yeah. lang. Pero kung yung mga pwede mong i-share? Actually, every time nagkikita kami, lalo na yung sina Nico, sina Zag, sina Bax, like, pare-parehas lang yung kwentuhan namin parati. Like, uh-huh. for example, yung there was a time kasi, um, okay lang naman siguro sabihin to kasi bati na sila. Si, Z- uh-huh. si Nico at saka si Frank Golia magkaaway yun before as in these they don't get along i don't know why so, sila na mag-explain on when when you when you get to interview them hopefully wala man din 
there, there was a time na sa Las Vegas kami and then sobrang awkward kasi mm-hmm. nasa nasa car ako si Frank at si Nico tatlo kami oh my god so parang oh, nag-iisa lang doon ako so, lang oo oh. eh ako kasi ma, ma ano ko eh medyo makulit ako ma, ma Ma- makulit ako sometimes di ko pinag-iisip pinag-iisipan yung mga sinasabi ko so siguro y- in a way dun dun na rin sila nag 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 ano nagbate mm-hmm. eh kasi I'm, I'm close to to both of them eh so they had no choice syempre <laughs> sabagay sabagay ano po yung pili so tama tama baka mamaya malalo pa mag-away yun oo uh, tas there was a time also kami ni Zags nag nag hindi naman it, hindi naman kami nagsuntukan pero nagka tulukan kami during Los, sa Vegas training camp namin kasi tikon uh-huh. siya sa akin kasi uh-huh. there eh, pinopost niya niya ata ako tapos hawak ako ng hawak sa kanya syempre y- I mean normal kasi wala naman ako advantage in terms of strength and height eh uh-huh. so tinatry ko out smart siya napikon siya doon so nag-away kami pero After that, but nagbati rin kami. Ngayon nga, close na close kami. Feeling ko nga, ano eh, uh, pag, pag nag-away, once na na-experience yun ang mag-away, parang, parang lalong nagiging close. Oo, oh, totoo, totoo. Kasi, na, na, wala na yung boundary eh. Oo, uh, wala na. Wala nang hiyang-hiya eh. Wala nang, oh, parang, uh, parang pakapala na lang. Uh, well, speaking of kuya, sorry. Um, well, di ko na yung mention dito sa podcast ko na yung nangyari. Pero yung kasama ko nga, he said that, He wants to join daw kasi talaga. And he has a free time naman kasi nag-waiting lang siya. So, he's here right now. He's about to enter. And speaking of, kuya, ito, kasi lahat kami dito sa podcast namin, lahat kami nasa same team before. Since yeah. from from grade 3 until grade 11. So, you guys are true blue Athenians. Yes, actually. Uh, kaya, uh, ano, good school to pick, ha? Nung, nung high school, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Pero ayun nga, ayun, si, si Sams, uh, siya, before talaga magka-away talaga kami yan. Kasi oh, ne- so... never talaga kami, never, we don't see eye to eye in anything. Yeah, like, yeah. talaga. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, sorry. Ayun, sigo, ayun, si Sams, you can ask him, Guya, kami dalawa before we don't see eye to eye at at anything at all. Talagang, yeah. Pero nung nagka-confront kami dalawa, biglang kami na yung pinaka talagang close. See, so, you guys, Guess what together? Who would have thought, diba? Yeah, exactly. Who would have thought? Like, hindi ko rin, hindi uh, ko rin alam kung paano nangyari niya, eh, pero, you know, it happens. It, it, it starts with a fight. Sa, sa bagay, it starts with a fight, nga naman. Ayan, kuya, well, speaking of fighting, no? Hindi naman, hindi naman ito connected sa tanong, pero, yeah. sino yung mga pinakagusto mong, well, yung nabanggitan natin yung gusto mong mga kakampi, no? yung mga favorites na kakampi mo. Sino yung mga gustong gusto mong mga nakakalaban on the court. The first thing, first uh, person that comes to mind si Almond vosotros. vosotros. Kasi uh-huh. ganun ni Almond eh. Sobrang shooter. Shooter, kontrapelo siya maglaro. Kahit, do, kahit i-pressure mo siya, he doesn't speed up his game. As in, he plays, he plays at his own pace. Parang si Luca, diba? He plays at his own pace mm-hmm. no matter to um, never mo siya mararattle, never, never mo siya ma 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 off rhythm during the game so mm. time I go up against vosotros na sa challenge ako kasi magaling siya sobrang galing niya at si RR Garcia ah oh. at the oh. times pa yung MVP so I mean I, defensively na sa challenge ako sa kanya kasi I'm always tasked to defend him eh. mm. so I guess I guess both of them kasi as in during during their college years Sobrang, sobrang, sobrang galing talaga nila. Tsaka, talagang pinapanood ko sila. Not just, not to scout them, but also as a fan. Okay. Sige, Kuya. Uh, well, hindi natin napag-usapan masyado yung college. But, sorry, Kuya, ilan, ilan yung championships na napanalunan mo with Atene? Yung ex- four. Four, the Ooh! most. Grabe. Talo, talo kami last year with, ano, uh, no, Final no, four talo- ba yun, Kuya? Then, then, talo kami eliminations do or die against US ah, so, uh-huh. so sino manalo nun pasok sa final four uh-huh. uh, anyway yun nga well di natin napag-usapan yun pero yeah. um siguro talk us through all the process na pinagdaanan nyo din yung mga ano mga pwedeng pag-usapan and siguro yeah. sunod na rin yung parang what what 
made that team so successful do you think yeah siguro um uh, i'll talk about my personal uh, experience sa uh, college syempre it was it was it was really tough like i to be honest like i wasn't enjoying basketball kasi i was i got limited i get i got limited playing time mm. kasi at the time sobrang daming recruits eh at saka magagaling talaga yung recruits mm. so i was behind Jai Reyes, Eman Monfort, Kirk Long, Eric Salamat, um keeper sobrang sobrang stack nung team na yun kasi during the time galing mag-recruit ng Ateneo eh Mm. And and I barely I barely touched the court. And and it's no fault to the coaching staff or coach Norman because I I learned also na when every time I would recall my college experience, I wasn't mentally prepared also. Parang takot na takot pa ako to to compete kasi parang I felt like I didn't belong. Mm. I didn't belong and I could like I couldn't I couldn't find my rhythm at that time. So the first three years I I really barely played. But mm-hmm. during the fourth year, uh si Coach Norman really gave me the opportunity. Cause I really waited for my turn. Eh? Like first three years, Banku ako, and then eventually I graduated to M. And so Coach Norman had the patience for me, which which I'm grateful for. Cause if it weren't for him, I don't think I'd I'd even get the chance to play in the PBA. Pero he gave me that chance even though I really wasn't I started off slow during my fourth year but he he he's, he's he stuck with me like he said that I was going to be the starting point guard and and you know it, it eventually paid off kasi I knew my role not at the time mm-hmm. like I was he he told me na to make sure to force feed Greg Slaughter, Kiefer Ravenna and Nico Sava kasi those three were the scorers but in the fourth quarter, once once they've they've already found the rhythm, I I can go now and go call pick and pick and roll. I say I'm I'm a score first point guard day. Eh. Mm-hmm. So he let me be that during the fourth quarter. Once once everyone settled down, everyone once everyone settled down with their offense. So uh, ayon you mentioned Karina, you have to change your play style or para uh, you had to wait before you had your turn. Yeah. Was there any point in time where uh nag contemplate ka mag transfer or kung hindi man what made you choose to stay in Ateneo? Um to be honest it never really crossed my mind because I've always wanted to be to be playing for Ateneo not just not just because of basketball but education wise as well. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll get that elsewhere and I I mean no offense of course kasi syempre biased yeah. biased din ako sa Ateneo. But there was a time when I thought na okay lang ako mag-team B muna to like prepare myself uh, in terms of my basketball skills, my conditioning, mentally. Like I like during that time, like I knew I wasn't ready to be part of Team A yet. So y- y- yun, it crossed my mind lang na okay lang sa akin na mag-team B muna ako to, to get, get my bearings back and you know, find my game again. So ayun, we're done with the college talk. So transition yeah. naman tayo to the pros. So tell us how it was like to kasi kami aspiring professionals kami kuya. So what was it like to hear your name called during the PBA draft? It felt good to be honest. As in kasi during my my college career naman I I didn't expect to be to be to make it to the PBA kasi like let's be honest uh yung stock wasn't very high diba i wasn't my my name wasn't out there naman eh. no one really talked talked about me so so i was i was very grateful and happy just to be to be called so ayun ko yan um let's say your transition from college to pba what did you do kasi yung pba i must say it informally right now you are balling so, thank you so what was it? What did you do to get for one, like your confidence, and two, yeah. how did you develop your game to be playing the way that you're playing right now? Yeah, I I started off slow, like very slow. It very it's similar to my college career. My my first two years, I I wasn't I wasn't a PBA player, mm-hmm. like men, 
my skill wasn't the my skill wasn't PBA ready yet. Mentally, I wasn't PBA ready. Physically, I wasn't PBA ready. Um, so it was it was a slow start for me. And and at that time, I was already contemplating of uh of choosing another career. Because it it wasn't working well for me, and mm-hmm. and I was bought out by by my first team. So I had to go back to the D League, and then it was my mom who told me, "Na sige, just just give it a try, one last try, maybe maybe D League will help you get back to the PBA." And at the time, it was very rare na from PBA you go to the D League and then go back to the PBA, like, because you sh- and especially especially in my position, point guard position, very competitive yung position, ang daming magagaling na point guard. Eh. So when I was playing the D League, I just I enjoyed it. To be honest, like I was, I wasn't playing for the money. I wasn't playing for anything. I was just playing, playing basketball. I was enjoying it again for the first time, like, like how, I, like how it was, uh, in grade school. And then yun, um, siguro na nakita ko nila coaching and the NLEX team, and they signed me for a conference. So which, mm-hmm. which I'm forever grateful for. Mm-hmm. And then from there, ganon na kuya. And then, well, the the red roller right, with Enlex, because I was playing back up to Kevin Alas, and then Siki came came ran. So there was a time I wasn't really playing. So I really didn't expect to be to be who I am now, right? I I was expecting to be balling as you as you. <laughs> so I I get um. God works in mysterious ways, diba? You, you never know talaga ano yung how your how your life will go or how how your life will turn out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one more question. Sa when you were rookie or when you were young, sino yung mga naging mentor or like the people that uh, put you under their wing to become a PBA player or who taught during- you how to become a professional? During college, this is during college or PBA. 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 To be honest, wala. <laughs> wala. Like, it, it, it was just an expansion team, eh. so everyone was, oh. you know, um, as as much as I as I hate to say, it, but you have to also understand everyone was was thinking about themselves. Siempre, you right. you're feeding your family, ne? Right. And mm-hmm. as possible, you want to think about yourself first and take care of yourself first before you take before you take care of anyone else. Because it, you you have to extend your contract, and if you don't get to extend your contract, you you'll have to either retire or find find another job a job. Mm-hmm. So so I guess I guess you know which 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 I don't which I don't blame anyone for now because like right now I understand I understand the situation during that time. Uh, kuya, kanina pinag-usapan natin yung uh well sa simula yung kay kinalaban niya yung Miralco in their performance against Miralco right and sila coach Norman no? yeah. ang sarap siguro sa pakiramdam nun pero uh may may debate recently i'm sure na naririnig mo ay napapanood mo na ikita mo na of syempre nanalo na naman at tinayo sa championship ng UAP right so after that that win there's been a lot of talks na parang comparing coach Norman or coach Tab. Yeah. And siguro I mean di natin may iwasan mo sa kuta mo to in in a biased way. Pero uh who do you think na lang uh would be at the end of the day the high, the, the, the that coach, that oh. coach. Si, si oh. coach si coach Norman or si coach Tab. Si coach Joe Lipa. <laughs> yung coach <laughs> ang daya ng sagot ganun <laughs> ganun actually um I, I syempre biased ako I would I would say I would still say Coach Norman Coach mm-hmm. Norman won five champion five straight championships diba mm-hmm. so five beat. he had the five beat so may bragging rights siya mm-hmm. which is which is hard which is hard to beat kasi diba Coach Tab had three ba so far, oh, no, no, what in three consec- feet? Uh-huh. Consec- three, right? It's three, three. His- so, but then, 
like I've never been under Coach Tabrin, but but the way I see it, he's 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 a tactical coach. He's so good, uh, with his adjustments, with his plays. Like, kung ikaw yung player, parang ano ka na lang, susunod ka na lang eh, kasi it'll work every time. Mm-hmm. Diba? In terms of his um his play designs, his defense, his defensive schemes. Mm-hmm. As in, galing, galing si Coach Tab and he would never take credit for it even though he should he should be taking the credit. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so building off from that, you have you've had a long journey na parang sabi mo nga ko parang roller coaster kasi yeah. yun, your your journey is still continuing so what advice would you give to aspiring hoopers aspiring professionals or those na um nakarating na sa big stages but it didn't go their way yeah i mean at the end of the day, you have you have you have to be true to yourself kasi you I mean, as much as as much as we want to emulate our game to our idols, like for example, Steph Curry, you know, Kyrie, but we're not them. We're not as good as them. But right. you can be the best version of yourself. So right. always be true to yourself. Be yourself. Put in the work, mm-hmm. even when even during the times you don't want to put put in the work, you have to put in the work. Um, mm-hmm. always also also have that small circle. Uh, also have that circle. Uh, in terms of your friends, your family, because you you will need that you will need them eventually. Like you'll never be su- successful by yourself, because there there there'll come a time that uh, you think you're already on top, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, life pulls you down. And who'll be there for you? The, the, your circle. So, mm-hmm. so you always need that that support from from people. Okay, and maybe lastly, Major, this is this is probably my favorite question. Yeah. You've been part of some of the greatest teams sa Ateneo and college that college uh, fans know. So I would like to ask, who's your all-time ano ba, Ateneo 5 or college 5, Matt? Aten- at- and actually, a college. Kasi yun yung pinakakalala. So, ano, starting 5. Okay, including so, you. Including you. Kala lang kasama ka doon. Hindi ka lang kasama ka doon po yan. You at point. You at point. Ayun, 6-1. Sige, pwede, pwede. My point guard, of course, Kuya L.A. Tenorio. L.A.? Uh, two guard would be Kiefer. Okay. Th- three would be... I need I need shooters around Kiefer because he'll create shots for me. See, Kuya Larry. I'm going to share. Mm-hmm. My, my four guy, yung who doesn't need the ball as much but will do the dirty work, um, Rich Alvarez. Ooh. Okay. And my, my, my fifth, would be man. I'm debating between Greg and Ange. I'd say, sige, Ange na lang kasi Ange would would is siguro better defensively. Mm-hmm. So, Yung coach mo naman ko That the one that that the one that can fit all of that together. Um, si Coach Jolie pa. Yung pa <laughs> yung parin. Masi. Ano yung ganon? Ano pa naman? Championship niyun. Oh, oh, sige, sige. Pagbigyan natin. Pagbigyan natin si Kuya Mami. Pagbigyan na. Ano pa yun? Daddy ko yun. Close ko yun eh. Kasi he's, he's part of Terra for me. And he's, mm. he's... Kasi you guys are, ano na eh, too young to actually know him. But he's, he used to be one of the best coaches during his time. Mm. Well, pagbigyan yes. na natin. Pagbigyan well, we understand. Natin. You have to protect the contract. We understand. No, what? Well, I, I forgot about 30. 30 has to be there also. Ay, hindi. Pwede ko yun. Kalaan ikaw o si 30. Ikaw na uli eh. Ikaw, kala ka nandun ka eh. Quatro ko si 30 na lang. Kasi 30, uh, best um Ateneo player ever. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Hot take. Oh. Hot take. Yep, can, you, can, you, can you explain why, Guya? Can you explain why? For the I people? mean, so dominant. Not not just during, not during the, ele- not just during the eliminations, but, but during the finals as well. He, he had 30 multiple times in the finals. Finals M, he plays good defense. He wasn't just offensive minded. He 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 does the dirty work too. He was a good leader, and yung leap niya from from who he was to ha- oh, who yeah. he is now. Uh-huh. I mean, that that just shows his hard work and his mental focus. So the I would I would say 30, 30 is the best at the end. So if what would are... over Kiefer? Because si Kiefer oh. pagpasok na pagpasok palang. Parang like, number one option okay. na. Parang ano eh. Kiff, naman ako ni Kiff eh. So, maintindihan niyo yun. Tsaka patid niya. 
sebagai sebagai Ikaw ya, anong masasabi mo naman sa ano? Sa good good conversation. Ay. So I expect naman natin Kiefer would would be a phenom. Ah. Uh, 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 would have thought he would be 30, 'di ba? So his, his leap um is amazing talaga. Very I don't know how he did it, but credit to him. Kuya, sa ano, sa, sa ano yung, anong masasabi mo sa mga, sa good conversation na parang, I'm sure narinig mo rin to, yeah. na people see Ryan Buenafe as the goat. Uh, he is! Ah, si, oh, yun, okay, okay. He is! But, he's the goat, but for me still, it's 30. Be, but, only because, um I would say Ryan didn't have the discipline. He could have been, he could have been a lot better than, than, who he was. Kasi it's just, he didn't have the discipline to be, di ba, wala siyang discipline masyado. I mean, narinig naman natin yung kwento niya, di ba? Yeah. During the podcast ni Mikey Reyes. So, mm-hmm. he could have been a lot better. Pero, yun nga lang. I guess, ganun, ganun talaga eh. That's how life is. And, I, I we, like, we make choices. I feel like difference din ng priorities na lang din yan. I feel yeah. like, yeah, different. May, may mga goals na gustong maganap na yeah. hindi naman pa yeah. parehas. <laughs> can't judge him also kasi yeah. we don't know naman what he was going through or mm-hmm. ano ano talaga yung nasa nasa mind niya at the time mm-hmm. could have been he could have been one of, he could have been the best but he's definitely one of the best agreed agreed and well uh siguro for now i mean we we can continue the questions as long as whatever yeah. time but but like um syempre Ayaw nila namin kunin most of your time of the day. Pero, so, okay. okay lang kuya. Parang may ano tayo, may pang next interview na tayo. Diba? Ta, um, siguro yung tanong, uh, yung for this part of the podcast na lang, do you have any final message to anyone watching, to your fans, to their team's fans, to Ateneo, whatever. Yeah. Just yeah, go ahead. Uh, the floor is yours. Uh, in general, to everyone, it's just, I uh, know, Make sure to always include God in your life, because nothing, not, nothing is possible uh, without Him. We always have to give glory to Him. Like for me, example, um, I I could have been doing, I I could be doing something else now, but but with His grace, He gave me another opportunity. Opportunity. As long as as long as you always do the right things, good things will happen to you. So, mm-hmm. so, um, in lang. Very well said. Okay. Thank you, Kuya. Yeah, um. <laughs> Brothers, um, for, thank you. Thank you, Koyaf. Yung um, thank you for accepting the invite. You know, uh, alam din siguro na mga nanonood na hindi naman kami ganon kalaking podcast. We just yep. we're doing we're doing this for fun and Bro, the fact it, na it's it starts it starts right now. It starts yep, you, exactly. You have to be at the top, naman. You start at the bottom and then eventually yep. na you'll be on top, na rin. Next thing you know, de ba? Maso surprise yeah. ka. Like I said, God works in mysterious ways. Yep, and uh, we'd, we'd like to thank you for being part of that process, you know, for giving us this opportunity and for talking to you about basketball and all this. And uh, hopefully, nga, we get another interview with you naman, with the other Best podcast song. members. Sige, <laughs> kuya, sige. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot from uh, Kuya Wami and enjoyed all his stories. And um, yeah, Thank you for watching. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, dami nang iyaring ngayon na kung saan saan sa sa bansa di ko na alam. So lagi dalang ingat. Um, and uh, uh, God bless. Stay safe. Peace and love, y'all.